Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the conditional formatting for matrix and table X for Power BI desktop. As you can see here, I've got data where I've got the country and the population. And as the population increases, the shading for the population co column becomes more green. So we will learn how to set that up. For this presentation or this video, I've got the data from uh, Wikipedia and I will put this uh, notes for the show notes and you can grab the link. Uh, let's just begin here. So I'll go back to the report and create a duplicate page and I will select the table X. At the moment it shows table preview because this feature is in preview. Uh, but this should become available from next month onwards. So I will select the country or territory name and I will select the population. And as you can see, it's just regular tablex. Now I can, if I click on this population, it gives me an option for conditional formatting. So I've got a, an option for color scales and data bars. I've already done a video on data bars, so we'll just focus on color scales. Click on color scales and then it says for, for the lowest it will be light green and for the highest it will be uh, dark green. I could make it yellow as well. So it will look a bit like this. Let's just sort by population. This doesn't look that good. So I'll just go and uh, set the color scale from light green to dark green and click OK. And so the data becomes a lot more visual and it's easier for us to identify uh, uh, very high values and very low values. Another thing I've noticed here is that if, for example, if we select population and go on uh, modeling and change the this to don't summarize. Let me take this out first population and now I'll just click on population again. And let us sort the population. If I click here again, it doesn't give me the option to uh, for conditional formatting. So which is an interesting thing to notice. And uh, Let's just go back to modeling and uh, for population, let us just change it back to summarize and select the column. And as you can see, the, the formatting becomes available to us again. And if we click on here, we have the option of conditional formatting. Just something to be aware of when you're formatting your data. Uh, I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video.